What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Scott. Welcome to the Scott Report. Today, I'm bringing you an anime review and first impressions of Kokoku Episode 1, kicking off the winter season officially because my first video of the season was a live reaction for Ito Juni, which I have different feelings about now, but that's besides the point. We have Kokoku, which, if you guys know how I get down already, already had the type of things that was going to attract me to this series. You know how it worked. It's psychological. It got a little bit of supernatural. It's Satan. And I'm always there when we have those things. But there's also a lot of other things that's involved in this series that brought me in. First and foremost would be that this is on Amazon Anime Strike, which days after I made a video talking about how it being behind this double paywall a year in could hurt his viewership. It's now debunked. Amazon Anime Strike now comes with an Anime Prime subscription. Like, so all of the categories that they have is now part of the Anime subscription, which is good. I mean, that subscription isn't inexpensive, no. But the fact that if you have it, you can get access to a lot of the properties that's being picked up, that is still a good thing. It's a move in the right direction, especially when we thought Amazon was going to be to the point where they felt that they didn't need to make this change. But I'm glad they decided to see things sort of the right way and do things for the anime fans by locking it behind one paywall instead of, you know, a double. I still would prefer for it just to be a service by itself. But hey, you got to take your wins whenever you can get it. The second thing I want to mention about this series that got me hyped once I started reading into it is that it's being done by Geno Studios, who for all intents and purposes gets people hyped because this could be the second coming of Man Globe. A lot of people at this studio are ex-members of Man Globe, the company that closed down a few years ago or recently, maybe about two years ago, that was home to a lot of beloved series that we all know and love, such as Dead Man Wonderland, Samurai Champloo, Michiko and Hoshkin. Recently, they have done under Geno Studios, but it was Man Glow before they shut down. They've done Genocidal Organ. They're going to have Golden Kamui coming up in the spring. So, they did gangsta. The hype is there. The feel is there. And it's just like this studio just had a certain type of feel. And Kokoku so far is embodying that as it has lived up to my expectations so far. This first episode was very solid. It has the type of world that I love. And Seinen is the type of thing that I watch anime for. It's when you get a kind of a dark mature type of story where your brain is tested where you have questions that's the type of things that i love and how about that opening i mean it may still be too early to say what is opening of the season and we still got more things to go and i've already heard the fate last encore opening which i was going to say is it could still very well win but this opening for kokoku my god it went in i literally got up out my seat and i was fist bumping to that opening as for a series with the tone as this, I did not expect to have a straight up dance techno type of opening and it was fabulous. I mean, the opening alone is worth checking this series out for. So Kokoku is about a girl by the name of Juri and her very large family who for the most part don't do anything besides her. I mean, she's out doing job interviews. She's failing everyone. And like her older brother is a neat. This guy's like 30 something years old and he still just sits at home playing Xbox all day. And I like that this, at the very least, at the beginning, had a little bit of humor to it because out of all the responsibilities that Jury has on her back, she has her grandfather who was kind of there to ease the air and make things a little bit easier for her to talk about. Like she was like, I went out on these job interviews today and I failed all 19. And you know, her grandfather was like, oh, don't say that. You never know what's going to happen. And then once she starts talking about things in detail, he just wasn't paying her any attention anymore. So it's always good when the lightheartedness is well placed. But to be honest, that was the only lightheartedness we got from this series because after the beginning part, we get to the dark stuff that we know. And again, I mentioned this is done by Man on Globe and it, it kind of felt like I was dropped into Gangsta again as far as how the tone, the music, the feel, and the character designs of this series went about. And I really do like that because what we're going to be dealing with with this story is that I told you her older brother was like a neat and she has a sister who we know is pretty well off from what we've been told. And it was time to pick up Jury's nephew and she sent like the older brother to go do it. She usually goes to do it, but she said, you know what? You're gonna get off your ass today and go do something. Go pick up your nephew. So he went to go pick him up. And just when it got to this certain part of the episode is when things 
got dark, things got really real, and it was just by the atmosphere and the look of these characters that set you into the tone that things are not gonna be as happy as you thought it would have been from down to the kidnapping scene up to the chilling call the jury's family received that if they don't come up with like a billion dollars in 30 minutes, they're gonna kill her brother and the child. And that's when things start to pick up for Kokoku because Jury says, you know what? I'm gonna take matters into my own hands. She went and got a knife. She was like, I'm going to get these people. But you know, grandpa, he came in, pulled her to the side, pulled her father into the side, who's pretty much a kind of a freeloader too. And that's when things really start to open up with this series. And that's when the supernatural elements of it come in because he has this stone where when he puts his blood into it, it gives him the ability to stop time. So that's gonna be very interesting, especially when you're dealing with time. You have to be careful when dealing with time because not everything's going to be Steins Gate where it's just going to be almost perfect, but it can make or break a series. And right now what we have is a fight against the clock to save these people with the time being stopped, but there's so much more to it. And with it being a first impressions video, I really don't want to dive too deep and go into too much spoiler territory. I'll save that for when I actually start doing reviews for it, which will effectively be next week because this series was really good. But at the same time, I feel I need to dive into the bigger picture because Jury's grandfather explains that this stone has been something that's been within his family for a long time. And with this ability, people tend to fall into the wrong type of life with it. I mean, think about it. If you can stop time, come on, let's be honest. What's some of the things that you're gonna do? You know, if you're a perv, you're gonna go sneak into the bathroom. You're gonna steal money. You're gonna pick pockets. And he's basically saying everybody that's ever used this stone ends up going down the wrong path. And I wonder if him going down this wrong path at some point in his life is the reason where we are now because their blood is very important. And maybe this is the reason why this kid was kidnapped. Again, I really am trying to stay away from spoilers, but this, at first I came into this series thinking it was just gonna be about Jury doing like some, you know, I'm gonna go save my family type of thing, but I'm refreshed to know that there's a bigger thing that's going on here because there's some people that took these kid for a reason and it has something to do with Jury's family and the grandfather knows exactly what it is, but we're just gonna have to wait till next episode to find out exactly what that may entail. But I have a feeling that this man who's responsible for this kidnapping and the grandfather, we know they know of each other but i wonder where the history comes in with that and that's when the supernatural elements start to come into play because there's also some spirits that are involved with this using of this stone and we saw something at the beginning of the episode too that hints that it's a very big picture that's going to be painted with this series and i wonder how many episodes we're going to get because we haven't got a count yet and i haven't read the manga or anything or read up on it i'm coming into this completely blind so I don't know how much time we're gonna have for this series, but I think this rescue my brother and nephew is probably just gonna be the first arc as things are going to get bigger as you'll see by the end of this episode. And I'm also wondering about the sister. Like why is she so mysterious? Why is she so out of the picture? I know where this is going, especially if you pay attention to the opening and some of the clips of this. I think I have an idea of what's going on with the sister, but again, we're not gonna dive into the super spoilers territory with these videos until I start reviewing next week but yeah um Kokoku had a very solid first episode it had enough mystery and intrigue to definitely bring me back for the next episode I don't want to crown it yet and go ahead and say I'm not going to give it more than three episode tests I really do say I I really do want to say I want to give it more than that I think I'm going to like this already but you never know things fall flat all the time after the first episode so it's only fair to give it a couple episodes to see where it goes but I can tell you now I'm hyped and I recommend that you guys at least check out the first episode see if you like where is going see if you like the feel of it and then we can all go in from there a very solid episode a very awesome op and just enough mystery to make you wonder and bring you back for more next week so on that note i'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here guys so if you like the video go ahead and drop a like and if you want to hear more go ahead and hit that subscribe button if there's not a shortage of content for you to indulge on this channel as i always say you guys can be anywhere on youtube right now but you chose to listen to me really appreciate that so thanks for stopping by be sure to check out my other reviews for the day which will be grand crest sinky or record of grand crest war as well as the return of the reviews by h and brad it's your boy scott signing out see you soon